First of all, you have to check out the courses you have enrolled in Scrooge by clicking the courses button. Note that courses are different from groups. Usually, in our school, we are going to use only courses. Usually, we don't use groups. So, this one is your computer literacy course for S1 in the year 2020 to 2021. Just click on this to look at all the materials you can find in the course. So, in the announcement section, usually I will post some crucial information about the computer lessons that you are going to attend. For example, in the first three cycles, you are going to bring your own student handbook in the first three cycles of the computer lessons. So here, you can find all the cycles, all the lesson materials we are going to do in our computer lessons. And some of them have to be completed before your lesson. That is, you have to complete this at home. So we call this pre-learning. Some pre-learning tasks have been set in the Schoology course. So you can check out all these pre-learning tasks. It will be some videos followed by some simple multiple choice or fill in the blank questions. And if you don't want to click these buttons one by one, you can click this filter button. This is also available on the iPad version app of Schoology. This is the notebook version of the Schoology course. So if you click this filter button, you can select text or quizzes. And then you can filter out all the pre-learning tasks you have to compete before every computer lesson. Say this is for cycle number one, log in e class and some survival skills in the computer room. So click on it, you will find start a new attempt. So here you have to watch a few videos and answer a few simple multiple choice questions. So they are not different questions because they are just pre-learning. You have to learn this before the lesson. So after you complete it, you click the submit button. Say so you click these buttons. After you complete the quiz, click submit and then answer yes. So you will see all the correct ones and the wrong ones. So if you want to redo it, you can go back to test or quizzes and then start a new attempt. Every time you click the My Submissions button, you can see your score and you can check out your answers. So if you do a second time, only the highest mark attempt will be counted. So you can give yourself another trial or even the third trial before you attend the computer lesson. So let's do a second one. And now you will see your mark for submission number two. There is another mark, another score for the second attempt. So only the attempt with the highest score will be counted in your daily mark. 